Welcome back to the channel everybody. Working on the old blue willies today and actually we're just doing a bunch of welding. So I finally broke down and had to do the gas tank welding. Um, it is a lot but uh, overall it just takes a lot of time. Uh, it is stainless steel it's 18 gauge 304 so I did decide to back purge um, the tank so all the seams have to be uh, taped up um, just to kind of keep the purge gas in and then you peel back the seams and weld everything but uh had about i don't know two i mean probably an honest it was like uh two hours of solid welding and then an hour of you know prep and tape and purge and all the things that go into it so um, i was able to do the entire uh outside loop um around and a couple other little little seams but um that was kind of the goal was to get that whole top down and it started getting a little warm um and so you'll start to if you get stainless too warm um, you'll start to get a little bit of of distortion so you gotta let it cool down um and there's some pretty big pretty big panels on this so but other than that like the you know, the weld consistency and quality all went pretty well. Um, this is uh, 18 gauge, so um, it's it's pretty thin. Um, not terrible, but, um, you know, definitely outside corners, you know, or um, uh, don't take a ton of heat. So I generally um, use the pulse on the welder um, to help with the heat management with that. Um, it's about a, a pulse every second. And then uh, I think this is, I think around 53 amps or something was where I ended up. And I can run that just pretty much maxed out. Um, and the one pulse a second lets me have a little bit of extra time to move my hands um, around so I can make longer runs along the seam. So I'm not starting and stopping a lot. Um, and then the, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I can show you the settings on the, I use one of these. I've had one of these for years. It's a AHP, uh, alpha tig 200. This is actually a pretty old one. Now I think it's darn near three or four years old. Um, but, uh, uh, I guess I could turn it on, but anyways, um, yeah, so it's just, oh, I don't know if I have enough hands. So this is the pulse. It shows it's like more like two pulses per second, but you, they're slow enough you can count. And I was getting just about a second. So um, that I do go pretty light on the the base pulse. So the the background amps um, are about 20%, and then the pulse time on is 50%. And uh, yeah, I think it was 53-ish. Um, oh, hold on. Yeah, 51. You see that or not? Yeah. So, not too bad. And then this is the purge gas setup. So this is the line that goes to the um, to the welder, and this is just another leg and another flow meter. And then this runs, and then into the into the tank. Um, just through one of the unused ports and kind of taped off. Um, but other than that, um, just a lot of welding. So probably have another, probably have another at least, oh, uh, I don't know. Oh man, I'm making you guys watch me in the dark. Oh, light. So probably got another, probably two sessions, about, about three hours of welding is enough for me. And it's starting to get kind of warm in here, um, today. So, um, yeah, so we'll do, uh, probably all the, uh, or at least most of the other seams on that tomorrow, um, depending on how much heat I have to put into it and how it starts to, you know, move around. You got to slow down a little bit and, and let it cool back down. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then this is the last, so this is the skid plate. Um, so this is eighth inch stainless steel skid plate that goes on the bottom of the tank. So that needs to get welded on last. And then uh, brackets, uh, fittings are almost, I think the filler tube 
needs to be welded on. There was one seam that was really close um, under the neck of the filler. So I decided to leave that off for now. So we'll put that on uh, before it goes back in, of course. But yeah, so overall that was, you know, honestly that that tank is is uh, a bit scary. I mean, it's a lot of welding. It's a lot of, there's a lot of work in it because it's so complex to get the capacity underneath the back of the Jeep. And just a lot of welding and stuff. So I was kind of dreading it a bit, but um, yeah, sometimes it works out better than you think. And that was one of those times. Like it was, it, I got the settings dialed in on the, uh, on the little cube that, that I made um, in a couple passes and then was able to go to the tank and, and go right at it. So um, yeah, pretty happy with that for the first day of welding on it. So I think that's it. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below, of course. And if uh, you like this kind of stuff, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. There's a bell, all kinds of things. But thanks for following along and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right.